What's up everybody? My name's Russ with RWResearch.com and today the unboxing of the Panasonic 4K. So this is the HC-VX981 model. I am proud to announce that my subscribers to this YouTube channel have purchased this so I can make more great content. So let's jump on in and unbox this thing. Oh, I'm so excited right now. All right, so here we go. This is it. This is the camera. Let's dig into this thing and see what we got. Pretty excited about this. Oh, this one looks like it's been opened. Oh, what the heck's going on here? Let me see. Ah, this, my friends, is actually my old camera. So, Yes, I still have the box for this, and it's kind of funny, the recommendations is Windows XP 32-bit or Windows 7 64-32-bit. So this guy's about nine years old. And the only thing that happened to this camera while using it was the touch screen. The screen just went black. You can still touch it, but uh, it doesn't. it does not work. Other than using an external monitor, it still records and does its functions, but you can't use the Mendo, the, the menu. So anyway, I was just, you know, throwing this in here for fun. So seriously, let's get on to the real unboxing. Yeah, it is okay. All right, here we are. Finally get to unbox this baby. So I actually couldn't find a video online of this, and so we have to unbox it ourselves bad reflection there but you know it's what you get it's what you get but hey let's open this thing up I have not opened this yet so we are about to find out what is in this box oh we have a nice tag we've got the lens cover so this is designed specifically for this camera and uh, I plan on using it and testing that out. Camera. We got the manual. This is the basic owner's manual. There's a much better, more in-depth manual online. Cardboard goodies. Looks like we got a micro, micro. Oh my goodness! Alright, I forgot to empty the card, so a little break there, sorry. Let's keep going! Oh yeah, so this cord right here is actually a really, really handy one. This makes life easy. So what this cable is, is it allows you to plug a USB right into the camera, and so you can use external battery backups instead of buying very expensive batteries. That's a great cable. I actually had to make one of these for my other camera. Alright, here we've got the HDMI. Oh, sweet. So this is, uh, yep, mini HDMI, or micro, to uh, regular HDMI. That'll come in handy. I don't have one of those. Looks like we've got the battery in there. This is a uh, nine, 1940 milliamp hour. There we go. So it comes with that. We've got a wall charger. It's just a Panasonic wall charger. It's a uh, USB and it is 5 volts at 1.8 amps. Let's see if we can get it focused on there. All right. What else? Ah, oh, good. And it comes with an adapter for the shoehorn, which I'm excited about, because I use that in my other camera. Okay, so that's what's in the box. Let's look at the camera. Get rid of all this stuff. So the camera itself, oh, nicely wrapped. Ooh, feels big in my hand compared to my other one. Nicely wrapped with a uh, foam padding there. Yeah, and there it is. So, at first glance, eh, it actually feels kind of, I wouldn't say cheap, but plasticky. I guess that's okay, since the whole thing's made of plastic. 
All right, so let's get you a, a decent close-up of this. All right, so here it is. I'll give you a little walk around. So you can see everything on it. This is the DC charger port. Oh, nice. It flips open and closed. It's like my other one, it uh, has a rubber thing on it. So it's got an, a front microphone jack, which is nice. Uh, the other one doesn't even have a microphone jack that I use. There's the back. The bottom. It's got a uh, micro SD card on the bottom. That's actually a really good position. I really like it there. That's not a micro, excuse me, just a regular SD card. So the shoe adapter is in the back for this guy. And then you release it on the inside right here. And I actually use that a lot for external things. Microphones and flashes and camera lights and stuff like that. So on the inside here, flip it over for you. Here's all the input output I.O. So you get the uh, USB, HDMI, audio video, mic. You know what? It doesn't have an audio video cable with it. But it's got the HDMI so that's nice. But it doesn't actually have the audio video. But that's just a normal splitter. They're easy to find but it doesn't actually have one. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, and then you've got your mode switch between play and uh, replay or record and replay, HRD, the Wi-Fi on and off, and the power button. Now this thing powers on and off when you open it, but it also includes a power button in case, I guess, it switches off or you want to leave the screen on, you can still turn it on and off without moving it. And then down here we've got a, uh, a camera function knob, which switches the modes between video, picture, and uh, I don't know what else yet, because that's playback there. So yeah, the screen does rotate all the way around, 100 and uh, whatever that is, 270. So you can actually flip it shut again, which is nice. Now the touch screen, let's go ahead and mess it all up. Looks like it's uh, plastic covered, so it's not just glass. It is a plastic cover, so it potentially will scratch, I guess. Microphone on the top, 5.1 channel, and it's got a windscreen on it, which is awesome. And it does have a digital zoom microphone thing, which is interesting. I use it on my other one sometimes. It seems to work okay. Windshield, so your volume up and down or your zoom in and out, depending on if you're playing back or if you are watching. And then a picture button here. And apparently you can take pictures while you're recording in 4K and maybe other modes too. And that's actually, that's pretty nice in case you wanted a quick snapshot of something you're trying to do. I really like these doors. That's really nice. On the back you have the record button. And then the battery of course goes here. Uh, you do have your screw adapter on the bottom and a pinhole for alignment. Yeah, seems to be alright to me. So this has a um, F 4.8 to 18.1 millimeter, uh, 1 to 1.8. I thought it had on here the lens, and I'm pretty sure it was 29.5 millimeter wide, but I don't see it marked, which is kind of interesting. Of course, it's got the hand strap, so yeah. Feels pretty good in my hand. A little tight, loosen it up. I usually don't ever actually hold a camera like this, but buttons are all in the right spot. So let's power it on and see what she gives us. All right, before I go too much further, let's just uh, plug the battery in. Pop it in like that, and then right here on the bottom there's a little thing, pull tab, which you can pop the battery out. And I really like this function because you can actually get to it closed or open. I've always liked that on my other one. So technically it should turn on. And that might be a function. Looks like the battery's about shot so we'll need to uh, plug it in. 
Alright, so I set up the date and time on this guy, and now I'm using it. It's on. I've set some settings, because I know what I'm looking at with my old camera. It's very similar to that. And, uh, yeah, my first impressions is it feels kind of bulky. And it does turn on and off. We'll see what the push the menu thing is, because I didn't try that yet. Okay, manual mode and auto mode. Manual picture, manual. Alright, very good. Very good. I'll have to play with that more later. Because this, this is a button that's not on my old camera, so I'll have to get used to using that. Uh, first impressions, though, it feels uh, bigger than my other camera. I guess that's to be expected. My other camera is almost five years old, and that's done me well, but it is really compact. I can put it in my pocket with no real problems. This one's going to have a bit of a trouble putting it in my pocket. Uh, let's go ahead and attach the lens. Let's just see how hard of a job that that really is. Just pop it on there and turn this. It should lock on there. Oh, I'm not catching it. Apparently it's a bit trickier than I thought. Still not catching. Well, that's not easy to pop on and off because it does screw into the threads on the front of the camera there. There we go, now it's in. And that is definitely going to be helpful with the lighting. Alright, well, there it is. I'm excited to use it and what I'm going to do is actually post a review uh, using this thing in a different video after I get some actual use out of it and see uh, see how I really like it. So far, it feels heavy. Not heavy, it actually feels pretty light, but it feels bulky. But that's just because I'm used to such a compact camera. Alright, so that is my quick unboxing, probably not real quick, of the Panasonic. Where did the box go? Here it is. So the Panasonic um, HC-VX981. Now, I will be doing a comparison or at least a review of this camera in use. Uh, I'm actually recording on it right now. I have the old one here in my hands. I have loved this Panasonic camera in the five or so years I've been using it. I've been using it every day. I've recorded many, many, many terabytes of, foot, of footage on this guy and unfortunately like I said that screen has quit and my YouTube community thank you guys you have actually purchased this camera I'm recording on right now and I get to use it and share with the content with you so right now I'm recording in uh, 1080p 60 and I'm gonna have to figure out the viewing angle and I'm gonna have to figure out if the 4k is worth it because 4k doesn't record in 60 frames per second, only 30. But what I really like about the 4K option is you actually get four times the resolution. So if this is 1080p, this is actually 4K. And then you can zoom in and you can actually pan around on a shot, which is actually a really helpful feature and makes really great cinematic um, things. And you can do a lot of that post-production on this camera, which I'm not gonna go into on this review or anything right now. That'll be a little later. Um, I'll give it a little bit of time. But uh, yes, I love this camera. Now, after holding this camera in my hand and holding that camera in my hand, this one is actually almost the same weight when you just feel it. But it is much more compact in your hand, so it feels very tiny. That guy feels very big, but it's still very lightweight. So, so far, so good. And uh, yeah, more to come. Thank you guys very much. So yeah, I'm in my tiny shop. If you guys, well, some of you who are watching this unboxing video. I do all kind of other things on my channel. Playing with electrical coils and high voltage supplies and all kinds of things. So go check it out. Alright, peace and love. God bless you guys. And I'll see you later.